I have chosen some moves. So everybody move back and face me. I've chosen two moves and you are going to choose two moves. My two moves are jumping jacks with your fists on your hips, okay? And straight into knee lifts, okay? Now we need two more moves. What moves would you like to use? Yep. Grapevine. Grapevine, yes. Side flick, okay. So, let's all spread out and practice our jumping jacks. Fists on your hips. We're going to do 32 counts of each move. Now if a jumping jack is one, two, and we're gonna do 32 counts worth, how many jumping jacks would we do? 16. Awesome, 16 jacks. You don't have to count them. If you're good at hearing the music change, then you'll know when to change moves. So there would be 16 jumping jacks. The next move is grapevine. Okay, so we'll go step behind, step, clap, step, and we might use our arms, so everyone join in. We'll go reach, reach, clap, reach. Now, how many counts does a grapevine take? Yes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So to do the whole thing, it's eight. How many eights in 32? Four. So we would do four grapevines there and back. That's easy to count. What was our next move? Oh, I, I said flip, uh, knee lifts, didn't I? So jumping jacks, knee lifts. So we go knee, knee, reach, reach. So a whole set is eight counts. So we would do four sets, four grapevines. And the final move was flick, side flicks. So when you come out of your grapevine, this leg will pick up, ready to flick. So that's a nice routine that flows well. We're going to practice those four moves to the music, 32 counts of each, okay? I'll tell you when to change. I want you to really listen to the music to see if you can hear it. Listen. Four. Jacks. Good. Halfway there. Four, three, grapevine. Oh, no, it was the knees, wasn't it? We'll do the knees next. Last one. Knee lifts. Now grapevine. So what was our next move? Side flick. Ready? Side flick, go. We're going to do this all again, but we're going to halve it all. Four, three, jumping jacks. Four, three, knee lifts. Great find. Side flicks. Good, and stop. We're gonna try it one more time. We're gonna halve it again. So eight counts of everything. Okay, listen, four, three, jumping jacks, knee lifts, grapevine, flicks, jumping jacks, knee lifts, grapevine. Nice job, well done. So we started with 32 counts, then we went to 16, then we went to eight. When you get really good at your routines, you'll be able to do them with eight counts each. Today, we're gonna to practice the 16 counts. We're going to get in small groups of three, four, five or six people. So you can have any group number you like, and we're gonna practice those four moves 
with formations and positions, okay? So can you find yourselves a group of people and let's see if we can come up with different size groups. Off you go, find yourselves a group. How about we have a five? Oh, this is amazing. Three, four, five, six, magical. Okay, everyone face me, get a little bit closer together. Listen carefully. When you do your positions, I need you to travel on your moves and come up with a new position when you travel. So first of all, we're gonna start with a start pose. So you're gonna make up your start pose and I want it nice and close. And it might be that one person is um, down on their knee like that, okay? You two might be behind, yep, with your outside arm up. And then you two might be behind with your outside arm reaching out. Okay, so it's a bit like a beautiful. Okay, that might be your start pose. So then you all stand up and your first move is your jumping jacks. And you've got 16 counts to travel around each other. So you might decide to all travel and end up in a new formation. And your new formation might be, you might go backwards and finish there. You might stay on the spot and you two might come forward. And what position is that? It's like a V, isn't it? Okay, and then your next move would be knee lifts and you would change your moves around to end up in a new formation. So we're going to practice our formations and each size group is going to have different formations. So first of all, I'd like you all to show me what a straight line behind each other would look like. Good, that's it. Now I want you to show me a straight line next to each other. Now a diagonal. Some people go forward, some people go back. So it's all about communicating with each other and teamwork. Good job. And with your diagonal, you can face the diagonal or you can face the front. Sometimes it's easier to face straight to the front. Now show me a diagonal the other way. <laughs> Good. Okay, show me a circle. So maybe facing each other, is, yep, good way to do it. Show me, now this is where it starts to um, get different. Show me, let's do windows, which is um, some people in the front, some people behind, but you're in the gap. So if we had two of you at the front and the three behind, that's windows. Come over here, Amelia, Oriana in the middle. That's windows because you're in the gaps. What's yours also known as? Triangle, okay. Um, this time I want you to come up with another position which suits your number. So you girls could do a dice, which is four on the outside and one in the middle. You girls could do a different triangle with the point at a different angle. You could do a diamond. Girls, you could do a pyramid, one at the front, two, and then three at the back. So see if you can get that new position, off you go. Do you wanna come back here a little bit? Girls, come back here. So make a square, good. Amelia's in the middle. And you know, when you look at the dice, it's got a five on it and there's one person in the middle. You've got a pyramid. Good, a triangle facing each other and a diamond, I think. A square, cool. All right, so we are now going to practice the start pose in your group. Then when I, uh, then I want you to stand up out of your start pose and do your jumping jacks to a brand new formation, a new position that you've just worked on then. Okay? Any questions? No? Okay, off you go. Work on your start pose. Good. Okay, so standing up. Work out how you're going to stand up. Yep, good. Now you're already in a lovely position. So you're gonna do jumping jacks. What would you like to do? Where would you like to travel? How would you like to end up? How about in a straight line? Straight line? You can travel on your jumping jacks like that. Yep, do you wanna end up in a straight line? Yep. Okay, so you don't 
why don't you try and travel a little bit further than just the easiest spot? So instead of you going to the front of the diagonal, why don't you go to the back of the diagonal? You go second back, you go third back or middle, front, although then you've got nowhere to go. Can I go Why don't you go to the back and you go to the middle? So everyone walk to your position. Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay, now you've got eight jumping jacks to get there, so you don't have to go off straight away and bump into everyone. Once you're there. Well, you'd spend the first few jumping jacks spreading out and then going to position. So come back and let's have a practice. So you've stood up. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. Jack, 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 jack. jack. Jack, now see how you've got a few spare ones when you get there? So you don't need to get there straight away. It might be that you wait for a couple and then get there. That's perfect. Face the front though. Now, your next move is knee lifts. How about, Amelia, you lead with knee lifts and everyone turns around and you do like a snake. Yeah, so you lead, you follow. Go. Awesome. So only two sets. So you'll end up in a circle or you could end up in a new position. Do you want to work out your new position? Great, by next. Beautiful. So you've got eight jacks to get there. If you get there early, you could turn them. So four, will you get there in four jumping jacks? Yep, and then turn for four. So one, one, to the back, to the side, to the front. And then you're ready for knee lifts. What would you like to do for knees? Circle. Yeah, you could go to a circle but not face each other, get into like a, a snake. to music, I, just the first bit. I know you haven't practiced the whole thing, but just so you understand the first part, we're gonna try it to music. Everyone in their start pose. still working on it. That's one lot of eight, two lots of eight, three lots of eight, standing up, five, six, seven, go. Knee lifts, go. Good, then there'll be your grapevines. Nice job, girls. Okay. Keep working on it. You're now up to working on your grapevine positions and then your flick kicks. So you've ended up in a circle for your knees. Okay, and what are you going to do for your grapevines? That look good. You're going out and in. Yeah, perfect. Good. 
The only thing I can think is in your last grapevine you could come back to a new position or your pyramid and land in a new position. Pyramid, diagonal, what would you... Diagonal line. So it just means that like Claudia might come out and go to here and everyone has to go and land behind her. So you spend that last grapevine getting to that position. Are you doing 16 counts of all your moves? We were. You went. Okay. Do you, no, you can't. You can do eight if you want. Do you want to do eight? Yeah, that's something a bit different. Yep. Okay. How are we going? What are we up to? Got the grapevine? Yeah. Got the flick kicks? Yeah. Okay. Flick kicks, then in pose. So your first grapevine, instead of going straight out, you might want to go on a bit of an angle to think about getting there. One more minute. Good teamwork, everyone. Good. Other leg for your flick kicks. Okay, 10 more seconds. Have you got an end pose? Do you have an end pose? No. That's what we're figuring out. So listen to each other's ideas. Two at the back. <laughs> we can't see you though. What about a piggyback? Yay, I love it. Okay. Let's have a practice to music, then we're going to show and tell. One more practice to music, then we're going to show each other. That's eight. Ready? Start pose, 16, 24, standing up, 5, 6, 7, 8. And finish. Well done. Okay, everyone in. Everyone in, please. Yes. Sometimes it's better to go first because you remember it. Is there eight counts to go into the um, ending pose? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what we're going to do now, we'll do our show and tell today because you've worked so hard. The next lesson, we will add on our next four moves. Okay, so you'd have today's four moves, another four moves, then your end pose will always be at the end of the, the moves. Okay, so I'd like you to come and sit down very quietly on this yellow line. Who would like to go first and get it over and done with? Okay, up you go. Do you think you can count yourselves in? That's two lots of eight. That's three lots. Go.
four, three, two, go. Wow, splits, standing up, four, three, two, go. And go. Go. Good teamwork. Okay, final team. The trio is doing eight counts, not 16. Ready, standing up. Four, three, two, go. And pose, nice job. It gets, it gets harder, doesn't it, when you break it down to eight because you have to get to your positions quicker. Thank you.